going on today guys welcome back to another upload uh it's tuesday um just our last upload yesterday you guys saw us install our new coolant reservoir and our new intake horn i'll leave a link in the description of that video you guys go check it out uh, but we're just going to continue on with the installs in today's upload as well uh, here's just a little weather report for you guys it's gloomy it, uh it's been pissing and pouring all morning just like yesterday uh, but it's supposed to be pretty tomorrow, I think. Uh, but then pick up rain the rest of the end of the week, end of the weekend. Uh, but that's fine. That just means plenty of shop time for us. Um, so, parts are still kind of coming in intermittently because uh, with the way the world is today, it's kind of hard to get your hands on everything when you want it. Shipping, uh, manufacturing, all that good stuff. It's just hard to get everything at once. And uh, especially whenever you piece things together, uh, don't get everything from the same company. Uh, it gets a little weird with shipping. So we're still gonna carry on with the same method as yesterday, uh, kind of piece together what we can. Uh, what we're gonna start with is this box right here. And I got a pretty good idea. I ain't had it open yet, but pretty damn sure it's AC condenser. Whenever I got this 03, um, I just love the clean look up front here. Uh, we are gonna um, color match our intercooler on this truck whenever we do the color match on everything else. So don't worry about the ugliness on the one on the 05 but we got a new ac condenser they're cheap about 100 bucks um, but this one has been beat all to hell um i would assume whenever people stand up here whenever the truck was lifted to work or to look or whatever that looks like a whole bunch of boot prints to me and a whole bunch of knee prints and a whole bunch of leaning over uh, a whole bunch of cringiness so it has got to go um that's been bugging me since i got the truck um as far as draining your freon um i believe in these trucks it's r134 or something like that i'm not sure of the uh what freon it is exactly but if you don't have a system to drain your freon out of your truck definitely take it to a dealer or a, just an auto parts store somewhere that has an ac machine and they can drain that out you don't want to you don't want to release it into the atmosphere it's not good for the atmosphere that's global warming for you fuckers that's why these ice caps are milk um <laughs> sorry about that went a little deep um, but that's just held on by two 13 millimeters right there. Uh, ours was already drained uh, a couple years ago, I guess, whenever we first got this truck. This was going to be on the docket, but we set it aside for a long time because this truck has just set. Um, so we just popped ours off 13 millimeters, pop them off, and then you just got one, two, three, four 13 millimeters holding the condenser on itself. So just real quick, uh, I'm going to yank them bad boys out and we'll open up the new condenser. So got the new one all laid out. Here's just a nice little side-by-side -side comparison. Yeah, quite the upgrade if you guys ask me. Um, a little bit of damage in shipping, but these things are so damn fragile, I'm not asking for too damn much. Uh, it's fine, no big deal. Uh, that's gonna be covered up by the bumper anyway. I'd say we're making a huge improvement. Um, these, uh, this new AC condenser, it does come with some new studs here for where your uh, uh, your AC hose is up there, mount up. You're gonna need this stud for it to slide over and then use your existing nuts. Well, I had to grab one of these, or one of them out of the old condenser. These bad boys are weak. It, uh, almost, it just barely gave me a little bit of tension and I went to torque it a little bit, snapped the head off. I had to take my channel locks to get it out. Um, so, my scripts, sorry. Um, so, uh, just watch out for that. If it starts to snag a little bit, these some bitches are weak. So go ahead and back it back out. And, um, uh, get a tap and die, whatever you need to do. Clean them threads out. Um, don't be like me. Had to use one of the old ones. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Um, but here's your company, UAC, if you guys want to look them up. Uh, I'm not sure where the part number is on this box. I got my information hidden underneath that envelope. Um, but nonetheless there will always be a link in the description to all the parts that uh that i'm installing on this channel um so this isn't too bad of an install we're gonna knock this out pretty damn quick so we can move on to something else um let's do it real quick So 
we got this thing stabbed in here pretty quick. Um, super, super easy install. Uh, we're not going to be throwing any free on in this thing today. Um, as, man, we're not too got off a word about it. <laughs> as, as strange as it may seem, um, this is more or less uh, aesthetic to me. Uh, that just looks amazing. Another thing added, because I mean, it wasn't but 100 bucks shipped to my damn door, uh, and it took two days to get here, so I figured why not. Um, probably it's getting cold so we're probably not going to worry about freon <laughs> until the next spring or summer uh if we get a wild hair we'll probably we'll go ahead and throw some freon in it um but i'll uh, show you guys this real quick this is kind of more or less how it's going for we was thinking about doing a front mount intercooler setup but i don't i'm not going to go that god awful far with it that just looks awesome i, I think it does anyway we're, we're still going to throw the grill inserts in there uh, but that's just gonna that just makes everything neater oh and that little crunk spot i was telling you guys on the bottom eh, you might be able to see it down there yeah you can see it right there uh but no big deal uh we're not worried about it looks awesome though um it, it's it's all 100 percent definitely coming together oh three sitting over here don't worry about that <laughs> so uh we're just gonna we got some more packages. I got to kind of decipher and decide what all I want to do in this video um, because I got a pretty damn cool video. I think Ashton called. She's on lunch and she said I got a package at the house. I don't know exactly what it is. That's going to kind of determine how the rest of this video is going to go. I'm going to go there on lunch here in a little bit. But I do have one more thing I think I want to throw on the truck real quick um, before I head and get lunch. This next thing, it's kind of more on the list of the tedious stuff, um, but it's more or less getting us prepped for whenever uh, some bigger and better things come on the 05 here very, very shortly. Um, so, the 03 over here, it has the Spike lug nuts. I'm not sure of the company. Uh, I don't know who they are. It could be True Spike. It could be Amazon Special. Who knows? Um, but it's not necessarily my thing. On this truck, on the 03, they look killer. Definitely gives it a uh, unique cool look with them spike lug nuts that's for damn sure but on the 05 I, I just don't think i'm gonna do it i think i'm gonna steer away could change down the road but who knows um i've mentioned it in a video before and this is kind of my excuse to buy a new set of lug nuts we are missing one lug nut uh, which obviously does not matter a single bit but uh that was kind of my excuse which also they're going to hell i know i'm blabbing about fucking lug nuts um but as you guys know if you got some old shitty lug nuts you talk about a damn headache. So we're gonna go ahead and replace them, not have to worry about it. Um, but let me see if I can get you guys the part number from our guys at ZY Wheel. There's your part number. If you guys wanna get it, it's 32 lug nuts. And for whatever reason, they send you two keys. I guess you keep one in the truck and keep one at the shop if you, if need be. Um, but we just got these hex style lug nuts. See if I can get one out. And we already test fit them. Just make sure uh that you that there are these real deep lug nuts so uh because the studs on these trucks are super long and that's the last thing you want is to get a short lug nut uh i've seen some people that just cut the damn ends off of them but we are not that damn ghetto um so i'm gonna bust out the impact we're gonna throw these bad boys on Up. Give them a good look. Obviously, they look a little wonky with those wheels, but they give me a good peace of mind anyway. And whenever we get some new spiciness put on this truck, it'll all come together. That's for damn sure. But uh, as you guys can probably hear, we got the 03 fired up. Uh, we're going to take it to grab lunch. I think Ashton said we got some boxes at the house, so I'll probably go ahead and load them up in here too. And while we're at it, uh, this thing is disgusting to say the least. pretty damn dirty but it has been nothing but rain around where i'm at for hell the past week week and a half anyway so it's hadn't had a chance to clean it uh, but if it looks like i can beat the rain before i get back to the shop i'll go ahead and wash it so whenever it's parked away in here i know it's clean clean and happy uh, so i'm gonna close up shop head to the house i'll see you guys in a little bit 
We just made it to the house, guys. Um, of course, the package we got in the mail, it's going to be for tomorrow's video, actually. Uh, that's no big deal. I kind of expected it, the way I ordered everything. Shit's just kind of showing up, a few far in between. Um, but, no big deal. We're going to go ahead and throw a wash on the O3. Uh, it definitely needs it, and it looks like the sun, I think, is going to start poking out. Um, so, good to go. I was kind of worried about it coming back to rain, and you guys know how this white is. It just bring it back to where it was, completely ruin it. Um, but... I think we're good to go. Uh, by the time I get done washing it, I think Ash and I'll probably be off work. I'm just going to skip out on lunch. Um, and we're going to go grab some dinner, take her to the shop. She hasn't seen the 05 in, hell, four, three or four days anyway. Maybe show her the progress on it, and uh, we'll probably end the video out with her. I just wanted to throw this in here just to see if anybody else actually does it. Um, I've come to find out I've got a different pair of shoes for pretty much everything. Um, there for a while, I was wearing my work boots day in, day out, but then my feet started bothering me and everything, so I decided, come on, Marcus, you gotta start switching it up, get out of the damn boots. Um, I'm just so damn accident prone. I love the steel toe boot. I can do anything. I can kick anything, work on anything. Doesn't matter. My damn toes are gonna be fine. Um, but, I've been switching over pretty much on the daily. If we're not at work, I'll be wearing my high top. Uh, Converse's very, very comfy shoe. I've always, let me see if I can get some light. I've always loved this damn shoe. Um, but that's our pretty much as daily wear around the shop. Do it, do anything shoe. But whenever we come to washing the trucks, piddling outside, around the house, stuff like that, we love to throw on our Hey Dude shoes. Me and Ashton are avid about our Hey Dude shoes. I'm doing the light thing again. I'm not going to make this segment too long, but our Hey Dude shoes, we freaking love them. Just throw them on, go. Um, whenever we go on vacation or anything like that, we leave everything else at home and throw on the damn Hey Dude shoes. I mean, you guys are going to watch me change clothes real quick. Oh, good thing you guys can't smell nothing. <laughs> but, guys, we absolutely love them. Uh, this is not a paid sponsored placement. But I will leave a link in the description to the Hey Dude shoes that I wear. And then I'll make, make sure Ashton models hers here in a little bit whenever she gets home. But uh, bang for your buck uh, all the way around. Uh, you hear stories about people getting these damn shoes stolen all the damn time. Uh, but I'm going to quit blabbing about shoes because uh, that's not what this channel is about. Ba bam So, we just got backed into the shop, and can we just take a second to admire the third gen? Another time, I know we admire the hell out of it, but my lord, this thing looks good. 
definitely in here we, we got all kinds of goodness going on in here that's for damn sure um but we got a couple little knickknacks in the mail and uh i figured what better time me and ashton are hanging out we'll get her to throw some on the truck um so we got some badges on the truck we threw a badge on the hood the other day i'll show you guys if you guys missed the last upload we grab it we threw that hood badge on looks good i like it uh what did you say been wanting to go with the uh, all black look more or less with the badging <laughs> but we got some badges off amazon and these things i don't know hold it up real quick hold it up real quick uh move your bottom hand just hold it up here, son i don't know um you know, the more i look at it the more i don't it's not too good awful bad i don't know i don't know they look a little bit wonky to me, because compared to like the badges I was wanting, they are massive compared to them, and they're just not the same shape. They're more flat, and these are more got a little bit of rounded edge to them. They look good. They're not. I don't know. I feel like these would look good on this white truck because it's so freaking huge, but I, I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and use them uh, and put them on here anyway. I'm gonna put an order in on some more. Uh, but we're gonna put these on here anyway, I guess, and see what they look like. Uh, but we're gonna get Ashton at the home. Precision is key. I'm gonna back up. Let you do it. Don't let me look. You get it straight. Some way or another, you think it's straight and it don't come out straight. Uh, that's just on you. <laughs> Tapes there. <laughs> I don't know. It's not so damn bad. Is it? I don't know. That's not so god awful bad. I don't guess. Upload to an end, guys. Um, I know it was a little bit more all over the place, but we got so much little shit, uh, a little tedious shit to throw on this truck that uh, that I want to bring you guys along the way and show you every single bit of it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Them badges are not looking too good to me. Not looking too good. I don't know. Um, so we have got tons and tons of more little shit to do. Uh, still got a bed full and still got some more stuff on the way that we're waiting on. Um, but stay tuned for tomorrow's upload because we got something going on with the truck. You guys get the gist. Um, it's going to be a cool upload. I'm excited about it as uh, we, we finally get to do some more uh, heavy duty wrenching, if you will. Maybe some, maybe even some fabricating. Underneath the hood, it's coming together slowly but surely. Um, the intercooler is killing me how damn ugly that thing is. Uh, but AC, new AC condenser, I can't talk, went in flawlessly. Looks amazing. Um, I'll leave the link in the description for that. Everything under the hood is holding up fine. Oh yeah, I forgot supposed to start the truck in this video uh, I actually did start it and run it yesterday didn't let it fully heat cycle but did let it run and uh, we do got some coolant in our new uh, one liter coolant reservoir um, but we haven't get it, got it out and drove it or anything like that but uh, I will start the truck here before we end the in this matter of fact I'm gonna start it right now Had to get some throttle blips in for you guys. Um, got my camera lady here, so I had to take advantage of it. Well, let's just step back one more time and admire the position the Woodsway shop is in right now. It's amazing. Goodness, did you hear that? Oh, what the hell was my scraping? I guess. Um, we're excited. We got tons of content coming your guys' way, um, especially with the gray truck, the 05, getting it as close as it is. Uh, we're getting excited because we can start moving on to bigger and better things um, get, get done with this tedious shit and uh, move on to some funner stuff, too um, So 
Make sure and check us out on Instagram at woodsboy underscore auto and all hell underscore JK. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow's upload. Uh, a lot of stuff came in the mail that's making tomorrow's upload possible. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Like I said, I'm excited. Um, definitely gonna be a learning video, and it's, uh, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be excited to see it because um, there's a lot of age-old questions gonna be answered in tomorrow's video. Um, so I'll see you guys then.